What's going on guys? It's Greg here, AKA NY Prepper. In this video, we're gonna do another penetration test with the 300 Win Mag. This time we're gonna be shooting at some logs. And these are some ash firewood logs that I picked up last fall. And we're gonna shoot at these logs with the Choice Ammunition 180 grain cutting edge solid. And I've shot this bullet through some 2x10s, Douglas for 2x10s, a few months back. And it was able to penetrate through 15 Douglas for 2x10s. That's a massive amount of penetration. And this is made by Choice Ammunition. And they're out of Montana, 100% hand loaded. And the velocity on this thing is 3,100 feet per second. And out of my gun, which is the Ruger M77 Hawkeye Alaskan. It's probably getting just over 2,800 feet per second because I have the 20 inch barrel on here. And we're gonna be shooting at about 20 yards, 25 yards away. And we're gonna see how many of these logs this 300 Win Mag solid is gonna be able to penetrate, okay? And I got my tape measure here. I wanna show you guys just how big these logs are. But before I do that, I want to show you some other logs that we're going to shoot after the ash logs. We're going to shoot some oak firewood. And this is actually that giant piece of oak that I shot with the 416 Ruger. And I was able to penetrate through the whole piece of oak. It was a two foot diameter oak log. And I was able to punch through with the 416 Ruger and then I split it up into firewood. So then we're going to see how many pieces of oak firewood we could penetrate with the Choice Ammunition 300 Win Mag solid. All right. So I'm just going to show you how thick these pieces of wood are. So the first log is six inches in diameter. Second log is about six and a half. The third log is about two and a half. Fourth log is five inches and the last log is about five and a half all right so it's a lot of wood here and this is ash okay ash is the same wood that baseball bats are made of it's a very hard wood so let's see how many logs we can penetrate with the 300 wind mag and then afterwards we're going to shoot this oak here and see how many pieces of oak firewood we can shoot through so stay tuned all right guys so we got our wood bungee corded together and I'm gonna have to make a really good shot here. I'm gonna aim for somewhere right here so we can get right through the center of these logs and go right through the middle so we can see exactly how many logs the 300 Win Mag solid can penetrate. Take a guess, what do you guys think? I think it'll definitely pass the first two. Possibly the third, I don't know, we'll have to see. Again, it penetrated through 15 two by tens, which are an inch and a half wide. So if you do the math, that's about 20 inches of Douglas fir. And these two are six inches, and this one's two and a half. And this is a lot harder than Douglas fir. So we'll see, I'm hoping it at least passes the first two. And uh, so take your guess, put it in the comments down below, and let's see what happens. All right, guys, choice ammunition, 180 grain solid versus ash logs. Let's see what happens here.
All right, guys, perfect shot. Let's go see what happened. All right, guys, I had a perfect shot. Really happy with this shot right here. It's exactly where I want it to hit. And it looks like it passed through all of the logs, except the last one. All right, guys, so it looks like we went through four pieces of wood here. And our 300 wind mag, 180 grain solid got stuck in the last log. I don't see any exit hole here on the back of the last log okay last log is clean no exit hole but our 180 grain solid penetrated through all of this wood here okay that you're looking at 18 inches of ash wood all right that's a hard wood ash is what baseball bats are made of remember these two were six inches in diameter this one was two and a half inches in diameter, and this one was five inches in diameter. So if you do the math, that's 18 inches of hardwood. So I'm gonna just go through all of these one by one so you guys can see. Again, this was my entrance hole here, okay? Right there, that tiny little 30 cal hole, all right? And I wanna show you guys the back of this first log. Right there is the exit hole. All right, little tiny exit hole there. Okay. And here we got our second log. Here's the entrance hole to our second log right here. And here's the exit hole of the second log right there. Here we got the entrance hole onto this split log right here. And here's the exit hole of the split log right there okay here's the fourth log entrance hole right there there's the exit hole right there on the fourth log and then here's our fifth log right here here's our entrance hole and no exit hole and I'm getting bit up by black flies right now it's really uncomfortable it's like little uh, needles being poked into my skin, but no exit hole here, all right? Very impressive results with the Choice Ammunition 180 grain solid. Was able to penetrate 18 inches of ash wood, okay? I am very impressed with this 300 Win Mag load, and I would not hesitate to use it against a brown bear in Alaska. All right, so any of you guys have a 300 wind mag and you need something for bear protection or bear hunting, check out Choice Ammunition, 180 grain solid from Cutting Edge Bullets. Very, very good load there from Choice Ammunition. All right, so just once again, I'm going to line these up so you guys can see all the exit holes on one side and then I'll put the entrance holes on the other. All right, guys, so what I did was I lined up all the exit holes and entrance holes on one side so I could show you in case you guys don't believe me or you think I'm faking it. Here's the exit hole of the first log. This was a six inches in diameter. Here's the exit hole on the second log, also six inches in diameter. And these are dry. They're not rotten. Here's the exit hole on the third split log right there. And then here's the exit hole on the fourth log. And this one was five inches in diameter. 
and then no exit hole on the fifth one, okay? So you can see all the exit holes. There's the first exit hole, second exit hole, third exit hole, fourth exit hole, and no exit hole, okay? Now we're gonna come around to the front and I'll show you guys the entrance holes. Okay, here was our entrance hole in the first one. Here's our entrance hole in the second one. Here's our entrance hole in the third one. Entrance hole in the fourth one and entrance hole in the fifth one right here okay look at that guys that is a lot of wood so now we're gonna move on to the oak firewood I'm really curious to see how it's gonna perform in the oak this is solid oak all right very very dense wood all right it's not rotten at all I'll actually bang a few pieces together so you guys you could hear how solid it is it's dry we're gonna stack these up together and see how many pieces of oak we can shoot through with the cutting edge solid from Choice Ammunition. So stay tuned. And it looks like I found our bullet, guys. And if you look closely in the hole, you can see the base of the bullet in there. I don't know if you guys can see that little copper color in there. So the bullet is just underneath the surface here. It's about half an inch in okay you can see that little copper coloration in there so it only penetrated about i don't know an inch or so into this last log all right but that's still very impressive so let's see what happens with the oak firewood and i'm getting bit up by black flies really really bad right now typical springtime in upstate new york bug infested all right guys I got this oak firewood stacked up. We got about 35 inches of firewood here, okay? Check this out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 pieces of firewood here. And again, it's about 35 inches, 36 inches of oak. All right, this is clean, dry, red oak it's not rotten at all all right no rot in this wood this is a hundred percent dry fresh wood it's actually been stored indoors i stored this wood inside because i knew i was going to use it for another test all right so let's see how many pieces of oak firewood we can shoot through with the 300 wind mag 180 grain solid take a guess Put it in the comments down below and let's go take our shot and see what happens. Alright guys, let's take our shot here. Choice ammunition, 180 grain solid. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, perfect shot. Let's go check it out and see what happened.
All right, guys, we had a perfect shot, exactly perfect in the middle right there. And let's take these bungee cords off and see how many pieces of firewood that 300 Win Mag solid was able to penetrate. All right, guys, so we were able to penetrate through seven pieces of oak firewood with the 300 Win Mag. 180 grain solid from choice ammunition one two three four five six seven pieces of dry oak firewood and you could see the bullet stuck in there the nose of the bullet just entered the front of the eighth piece of firewood and i got my tape measure out here and you could see that's about 20 inches of red oak okay very impressive results with this 300 wind mag guys look at how much wood that is i have no doubt in my mind that this bullet would penetrate pretty much any dangerous game animal straight through and it would bust through any bone shoulder bone or skull bone and here's our eighth piece of firewood and we got the base of the bullet sticking out Pretty impressive guys and it maintained a straight line look at this that is cool that bullet is just absolutely solid look at that so I lined up all the exit holes so you guys can see and then the entrance holes are on the other side so we got exit hole there exit hole there exit hole there exit hole there Exit hole there, exit hole there, exit hole there, and then the bullet stuck right there. So I'm just going to show you guys up close what the exit holes look like. This was the first one, second one, there's the third one, there's the fourth one, there's the fifth one. Look at how big of a hole it left in the fifth one. There's the sixth hole, there's the seventh hole. And then here it's stuck in the eighth one. All right, look at that guys. Seven pieces of red oak firewood. And I shot right through the middle, right through the thickest part of these pieces of firewood. Okay, you can see I shot right in the middle of all of them. All right, right through the thickest part. All right, so pretty impressive. And oak is a very dense wood. Now I want to show you guys all the entrance holes. So there's the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, okay? And actually here's the last piece of wood, okay, where it got stuck. So I'll show you guys up close. There's the first hole, second hole, third hole, fourth hole, fifth hole, sixth hole, seventh hole, and then there's our eighth piece of wood here. And it's just stuck right in there. I was able to pull the bullet out of the eighth piece of firewood and I wanted to show you guys what the bullet looks like after going through seven pieces of oak firewood, fresh dry oak. This is the hole here in the eighth piece of firewood and you can see this bullet is pretty much a hundred percent intact it's got some rifling marks around the base you can see the rifling marks right there around the bands but pretty much the bullet is intact look at how long that bullet is guys that's why it's able to penetrate in a straight line and penetrate so deep because it's very long and that length just helps to stabilize the bullet when it's penetrating. You can see there's some slight deformation in the nose. You can see the nose got flattened out just a little bit, but not that much. Okay, you can see the nose got a little bit pushed in, but that's not bad for passing through seven pieces of oak firewood. Oak is very, very hard wood. It has an extremely high hardness rating. It's one of the hardest types of woods in North America.
Check that beautiful bullet out, guys. Look at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And let me know what you want me to shoot next with the 180 grain solid for the 300 wind mag. So far it's performed very well in wood and concrete. But I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot it at some level 3 body armor. Maybe level 3 plus and see what happens with that. So thank you guys for watching. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three P's. Prepare practice and persevere don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and i'm going to get out of here because i'm getting eaten alive by black flies so thank you guys for watching i got a lot more shooting videos coming so stay tuned to my channel for more ballistics penetration tests gun reviews long range shooting all kinds of stuff thanks for watching guys take care